You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's Holy Hour with the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Why a Holy Hour? As the Lord Jesus Christ ministered to His people here on earth, every step and every action He took were marked by His mercifulness, His compassion, and His immense love. At no time did Christ Jesus place His own well-being before the will of the Father or the needs of those whom he ministered to. The ministry of Jesus Christ was marked by constant sacrifice. He gave himself totally because his sacred heart is filled with great love for our Heavenly Father and for us. Even though Jesus our Lord constantly gave himself to the people as he ministered on earth, his generosity was not fully reciprocated. Many were healed and did not stand by to serve him. Others followed him but were only interested on what they could get from him to meet their own needs and never bothered to ask if he needed anything. This lack of gratitude and appreciation for the immense love that poured out from the sacred heart of Jesus was sharply exhibited during the last hours of Jesus here on earth. It was during that time that his sacred heart longed for a deep and intimate companionship from those whom he so deeply loved. The Gospel of Matthew tells us that in the hours before he was unjustly crucified for our sins, Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to them, Sit here, while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him and he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me. Yet, not as I will, but as you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Could you, not, could you men not keep watch with me for one hour? He asked Peter. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the body is weak. He went away a second time and prayed, My Father, if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away unless I drink it, may your will be done. When he came back, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. So he left them and went away once more and prayed the third time, saying the same thing. Then he returned 
to his disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the hour is near and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. So three times Christ asked his closest friends to join him in prayer and suffering and three times they abandoned him. Now, before we become critical of the apostles and all those who partook of the, of the immeasurable love that pour out from the sacred heart of Jesus, we must not forget that even today we abandon Christ. For whenever we fall short of Christ's glory, we are in essence abandoning Him. For whenever we pray with our minds and hearts set on what we can get, as opposed to giving our hearts so we can receive what Christ has already given us, we are as asleep as the apostles were in Gethsemane. Since Christ's love for us is so great, and since our sins cause great violence to our relationship to the Holy Trinity of God, we must conclude that whenever we sin, the sacred heart of Jesus suffers great sorrow. However, we must note that his suffering is not out of weakness or necessity, but rather it is out of mercifulness and love for us. We must also conclude that as our only defense before God the Father, Christ or Passover, in a similar way to his prayer on John 17, verses 6 to 26, comes before the Father to pray for us who are in desperate need of His forgiveness, His guidance, and His protection. We, as His followers, have the opportunity to join in prayer with Him. For that reason, the members of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus feel that by practicing the prayers set forth on this handbook, as a community of believers devoted to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, we are in essence responding to Jesus' plea to join Him in suffering and in prayer, we are responding to His love. Essentially, as we come together in prayer during this holy hour with Jesus, we are watching and praying that we enter not into temptation. And we are accompanying Christ Jesus as He pours out His love to us. It is therefore our deep and heartfelt desire to offer the sacred heart of Jesus, or companionship, or solidarity, and or love by joining with Him in prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, Blessed Sacrament of the Altar, we praise you and thank you forever. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Open our eyes that we may see your light. 
open our ears that we may hear our Heavenly Father's voice. Open our hearts that we may be transformed into Christ's image. Holy Spirit, be the sole inspiration that moves our thoughts and actions. Stir up a revival on earth, especially within my heart. Through Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I put my trust in you. Promise to change my heart. Heavenly Father, how often have I offended you with my actions? You have shown me the right way to live my life, but oftentimes I choose to live in opposition to your will. I do not want to walk away from you. To do so is to reject your grace. Please forgive me and purify my heart. Allow, it, allow me to imitate your Son Christ so that my wretched heart may become more like his sacred heart. Let his sacred wounds show me my impurity so that I may confess my sins and be forgiven. I promise to live in constant devout prayer, giving thanks and praise to you, rain or shine. I will study your word so that I may understand you better each day, and I will subject myself to your precepts without demanding that others do the same. Blessed Sacrament of Christ, have mercy on us. Offering of the Holy Hour Lord Christ, before you were crucified for my sins, you were abandoned even by your closest friends. You endured great sorrow, while none of those whom had experienced your love comforted you. All your suffering came about because of my sin. Yet, aware of what you had to endure in Gethsemane and on the cross, I still continue to sin against you. Have mercy on me, Lord, and forgive me. I know that I can't repay you for your great sacrifice. Nothing I do could ever repay you. However, I love you with all my heart, and I want to be with you all the days of my life. To express my desire to simply love you, and in order to bring to fruition my desire to be united with you in prayer and action, I offer you this hour. Sanctify this hour and allow it to bring me closer to you. Divine Fountain of Mercy, downpour your love on us and allow us to imitate you. Prayer to the Blessed Sacrament O Sacred Heart, on the night that you were betrayed and handed over to be crucified, you took the symbolic gesture of the Passover meal and by your grace and power gave us your body and blood. From a time honored tradition, you gave us your eternal sacrament of love. You said that the bread you broke is your body and that the cup you gave is your blood. <clears throat> 